Okay, one more thing is this tire is very symmetrical, so it might cause problem without marker dots. But if you don't want to apply some marker dots on it, you can choose another way. It's a pretty cool hack. So I can put uh, this black line, which is a non-symmetrical item in the middle or in the perimeter of a symmetrical item to make, sure, to make this become a big marker dot for you so that you can scan it without losing track. Okay, let me show you. Okay, the tire scans very good and the line is not so complete, but that doesn't matter because we don't need the line anyway. We'll cut that off later on. Okay, now let's go to post-processing procedure and I will show you in another video later on how to use the post-processing software. So now let's just use one tap editing to process it. Okay, done. And now let's just use this saw isolation tool to detect and delete unnecessary part. How to use all of the tools, I'll cover that in a later on video. Okay, don't you worry. And there are more examples for this pretty cool hack. Uh, remember this cup, we put some marker dots on it and now we don't have to because we put two rich detail object, the statue aside of it. Okay, now let's try to scan it in this way. And know that you don't have to really scan the supportive item really good because you need to cut it off anyway after your scan is done. Okay. So as you can see, this cup is pretty cool and we just cut those part off after we have completed the post-processing. But I'm gonna do that because I have something else I wanna show you is this kind of long rod item that you want to scan with, remember the, the, the magic mat. But you don't have to if you put something rich detail stuff alongside it and you can do without marker dots like this.